Hello, this is Dr. Melanson, and today we're going to go over the main reasons why people have kidney disease. We are currently experiencing an epidemic of kidney disease in the United States, with the disease growing at an alarming rate. The number one reason why people get kidney disease is because of diabetes. What is diabetes? It basically means that your random blood glucose is greater than 200, or your fasting blood glucose is greater than 120, or your hemoglobin A1C is greater than 7. If you have any of these indications, you have diabetes. The second reason why people have kidney disease is because of high blood pressure. If your systolic blood pressure, the top number, is greater than 140, or if your diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, is greater than 90, you have high blood pressure. The third reason why people get kidney disease is obesity. What does it mean to be obese? It means that your body mass index is greater than 30. For a typical 5 foot 4 inch woman, that means that she weighs more than 175 pounds. And for a typical 5 foot 9 inch man, that means he weighs more than 203 pounds. There are other conditions that cause kidney disease, and we will go over them in our next session. But diabetes, high blood pressure, and obesity are the three main causes. In our next segment, we will discuss what you should do if you suspect that you have kidney disease. This is very important information, so please stay tuned. Hello, it's Dr. Melanson again, and today we're going to be talking about the symptoms of kidney disease. I want to keep this very simple. There are five basic signs that you need to look out for to determine if you are at risk of having kidney disease. The first one is fluid overload. Very simply, having too much fluid in your body. What are the symptoms of fluid overload? Well, your feet and your legs can swell or get puffy. Your hands can swell. You retain too much fluid in different parts of your body, including inside your lungs. That's why people who have kidney disease will often have shortness of breath. So fluid overload is one of the main signs that your kidneys are not functioning properly. The second symptom is related to fluid overload, and that is high blood pressure. When your blood pressure is high, you may get bad headaches, you can also experience blurred vision. These conditions can be the signs of more dangerous issues. So if you have these symptoms, you need to be checked immediately. Please don't delay. The third symptom of kidney disease is the nature of your urine. The character of your urine will actually change. It will go from being a normal yellow or a straw color to having a lot of bubbles in it. Your urine will become very foamy. Foamy urine is a sign that you may have too much protein in your urine. We call this condition proteinuria, and you need to get it checked out right away. The fourth symptom is fatigue. You may experience a loss of energy. You don't have the same get up and go that you used to have. This can also be a sign of kidney failure. The fifth symptom is called pruritus. In other words, itching. You itch all over your body. You have very dry, scaly skin. This can also be a sign that your kidneys are not working well. If you have any of these five symptoms, you need to be checked by a healthcare professional to find out if indeed you have kidney disease. In our next segment, we're going to discuss in more detail what to do if you have any of these symptoms of kidney disease. So please stay tuned. Hello, it's Dr. Melanson again. In this segment, we're going to cover what happens at a screening for kidney disease. Getting screened for kidney disease is very, very simple. There are just two things that must be done and it's totally painless. You need to get your blood pressure checked 
and you need to give a urine sample. The reason you get your blood pressure checked is to determine if you have high blood pressure or what we call hypertension. I've had so many patients over the years tell me, well, I have a little bit of the high blood pressure. There is no such thing as a little bit of hypertension. You either have hypertension or you don't. And if you do have it, then it must be treated, period, before it leads to further health issues. We take a urine sample so we can look inside your urine and see if there is protein in it. There should not be a lot of protein in your urine. And if there is, then that is a sign that you may have kidney disease and it must be treated. These tests can be done anywhere in the country. Any primary care physician or health care provider can do these tests very, very simply. Here at the GW Ron and Joy Paul Kidney Center, we do free screenings. If you would like to be screened, you simply need to call 1-833-KIDNEY-3 to make an appointment. If you think you may have kidney disease, it is very, very important for you to be screened in order to determine the next course of action. So please, don't delay. Call to schedule your screening today.